Ah. Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time, or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my... What are you doing? Welcome to my virgin kitchen. Um, everyone has got a guilty pleasure. You've probably got a guilty pleasure. I don't know what it is, probably. Uh, have you... Oi! Spoon lady. <laughs> <laughs> have you got a guilty pleasure? No. No? I bet you do. You like um, Peppa Pig, don't you? Peppa Pig? A uh, little piggy cartoon is her... Peppa Pig Grassley. Yeah. What have I done to this kid? Um, my guilty pleasure, I've got loads of different ones, and I'm going to try and do a series of videos about my <laughs> ultimate guilty pleasure in savoury and puddings and alcohol as well. Okay. It's going to take a while. Uh, so today I'm going to merge lots of different things that I like. Oreos, Ferrero Rochers, marshmallows, Snickers. <gasps> and some other hidden gems as well. So let's just get on and make it because she needs to be kept busy. What are you doing? What are you doing? Right. We have got here about a third, no, sorry, three quarters of a bag of Oreos, a standard bag, uh, right there. And we want Phoebe to bash them up with a hammer. So I've got this funky lady hammer, which isn't too heavy so that she won't sort of break her arms or anything like that. Bash away, mate. What we're going to do is make a funky little Oreo cheesecake type of base, okay? Um, you know like when you put mixed digestive biscuits with butter? It's exactly the same, but using Oreos, so we're just going to melt that in the microwave. Good girl. She's loving that. Right, it's quite a hot day today, so if I just put it in there for probably about 15 seconds max, it's already at room temperature anyway, but we want it liquidy, so we can pour it with those crushed Oreos, which she's still doing now. You're getting there, mate, aren't you? Is that fun? Right, here is my melted butter, and Fubu has got her crushed Oreos there. I'm gonna trust her. Pour them in then. Is that exciting, mate? Yeah. Right, this is gonna take a little while. So I'm gonna let her pour them in there, and we'll just skip that bit. Okay, so Phoebe has just poured some Oreos in there. I test a bit. What? I'm gonna test a bit. She wants to test a bit and make sure they still taste good. They taste good? Brilliant. So here is the melted butter. How do they call butter in America? Butter? Can you say that? Butter? Oh my god, like butter? No. She's like, Dad, grow up. Lola. Lola? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they call it. Okay, butter on the Oreos. Now, grab yourself a spoon. You've got a spoon and a spatula. Just pick whichever you want. And she's going to mix that all in together. The butter is going to hold it, and that's going to be a funky base, which we're going to bake briefly. You'll see that next. Yeah. Okay, Phoebe, what is that in your spoon? Um, it's the biscuits and butter. It is, and I've already shown Phoebe what you need to do. We've got these, uh, we're gonna actually go for six uh, cupcakes. And what we're doing is pressing it at the bottom, okay? I've already shown Phoebe how to do one, like that. So we cover all the gaps and compress it down, like tap it with your spoon a little bit. Flatten it all in there. So do that to all of your cupcake case things. Yeah? Okay, Phoebe has done a wicked job on there and she's bashing it all down. Make sure it's all rammed and packed in there. Phoebe, let me look at your face a minute. <gasps> Chocolate face. Have you been nibbling on some? Yeah. <laughs> uh, if it is rammed in there and you've got a little leftover, there's no harm in them having a little bit to eat. So I'm going to pick that up now. Uh, I'm going to pick up the tray right here. I'm going to put it in the oven down here. Uh, here we go, in that goes. Literally about five minutes in there and that'll just firm up the bases and that'll make the cake better. Right, we're now going to move on to the cake batter. Phoebe has grabbed herself another bowl. Stop staring at the camera. Mm. It's not done anything to you. Be nice to it. Smile at it. Still got Oreo on your face. Come here. Come here. Right, okay. So, mixing bowl. We're going to get our dry ingredients for the cake first of all. Uh, let's go for the sugar first of all. Do you want to pour that in? In that goes. Just normal caster sugar. And plain flour. In that goes, my friend. Wicked. Bicarbonate of soda and baking powder, a little teaspoon, about half a teaspoon of each in shot glasses. In there you go. Good girl. And the last dry ingredient, cocoa powder. Just brush that in, mate, or tip it in. Yeah. So let's show everybody what we've got in the bowl. Do you want to tip it up? Hold it. There we go. If I bring it a bit closer, da -da 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 -da, that's all the dry ingredients. So if you just grab a wooden spoon or a spatula, take your pick, mate, mix it all together. It's going to get all the dry ingredients bonding, like a big powdery fun place. Whoa! 
Okay, so Phoebe's finished mixing those ingredients together with a spatula and then decided to stick her hands in there. That's all good, because she's a kid. Uh, we're now going to start to add the wet ingredients in. This is some room temperature butter. I had a knob of butter there and I gave it about a five second blast in the microwave just to get it nice and loose like that. So you want to pour that in, Phoebes? Yeah. Just drop it in with your hands, that's it. And stir it all around with your spatula. Go! Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> stir it around with your spatula. <laughs> Okay, so with your butter in there, grab some buttermilk. One of the best cupcake recipes I've ever made included buttermilk, which is why we're gonna add it today. So just pour that in there, my friend. It's gonna lubricate it even more. Here we go. Yeah. All in there. Stir that around. Right, Phoebe has finished stirring that through. What does it look like? Raisin chocolate. Raisin chocolate. Okay, there's no raisins in it, but I see the chocolate thing. It's thick and stodgy, we're nearly getting there, so we're gonna lubricate it some more with eggs. And Phoebe loves cracking eggs, so here we go. Two eggs, they're going in. Whoa. Okay, she's already cracked one egg in there, and she's doing another one. Yeah. Here we go, quick, get in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it apart, quick, quick, quick. Possibly the slowest egg crack I've ever seen. But is there any shell? No. She does it so well. It's weird, she's a serious face when she does it, so no shell every time. Brilliant. Okay, so we stirred through that mixture and it's gone all for... Wow, you're happy with yourself, aren't you? Right, let's have a little go. Look, look at that mixture, it's all funky and smooth. I'm gonna add in two more things. One, orange essence. You can use vanilla essence if you want, but I love chocolate orange. That is my, well, one of my guilty pleasures. Chocolate and orange. In that goes, mate. Boom. And also, we have got ourselves some melted chocolate. That's around about just a, about a tablespoon of butter, if that's the equivalent. Uh, just pour that. It is hot, so I'm gonna pour it in. Melted chocolate in there, just to really give it a reminder that it is chocolate, okay? It's not flour and sugar, it's all about the chocolate. And just to bring you a little closer, that's what it looks like. You see that melted chocolate on the top there? If we just stir it through like that, it's just mixing and combining all the way in there. Oh my goodness. Phoebes, you wanna work that through for me? Wanna carry on? You want a party, huh? All good, all good. Okay, this is what is happening next. Phoebe is just trying her first ever Ferrero Rocher. Do you like it? Mm. How much do you like that? 100. 100, she likes everything 100, it's so good. If it's liking something 99, you got a problem. 99 problems, but a uh, cooking and video ain't one. Okay, so yeah, we've got loads of Ferrero Rochers there. We've taken these out of the oven. Give them about five minutes in there. If they're still a teeny bit soft, don't worry about it, because they're going back in the oven anyway. Uh, so yeah, what we're going to do is unwrap the Ferrero Rochers. Unfortunately, Phoebe, we've got too many Ferrero Rochers, so we might have to eat some more. Is that okay? Yeah? You think you can handle that? Mm. Yeah. yeah. So what we'll do is, uh, now that these are fully cooled down, Ferrero Rochers go in there, one in each one. Obviously take the wrappers off. Yeah, take the wrappers off. And then we'll top it up with our cake batter. Happy? Okay, so what we've done right now is we had Phoebe being a bit of a factory worker, unwrapping all of the Ferrero Rochers, and she sat one in each of them like that. See that? Just sat there like that. We need to add the cake batter on there. What she was doing a minute ago was kind of like from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, you know, with all the chocolate wrappers and then trying to get the golden ticket. That's what you would like. Yeah? That. Okay, folks, what we're doing right now is spooning the batter over the Ferrero Rochers, okay? Don't do it all the way up to the top of the cupcake casing, otherwise it'll just go explode, you know, it'll just spill out, and that's not good. Get it to just over the same height, or maybe slightly under the Ferrero Rocher, you know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna drown it. Right. right then, folks, that is six of them done. A little bit messy, but, you know, kids will be kids, it's all good. So, uh, just to show you, we've got plenty of the batter left, and you can easily make another six, no problems at all, but um, for this video, we just wanna stick with these just to move on, really. Uh, so yeah, these are gonna go in the oven, and uh, she is eating the cake batter. Right here then folks, that is an oven, preheated to gas mark five, and for 20 minutes we're gonna shove these cupcake cases filled with Ferrero Rocher and Oreo base, oh my goodness, in there. You all right, mate? You're in the zone? Stay away from the cooker. As you can see, they're not the cleanest, uh, so try and get yours a little bit uh, more neater, and uh, we'll see you in about 20 minutes, okay? Guys, it's been half an hour, I know I said 20 minutes, but I had to let them cool down a little bit. We have got some funky looking cakes right here, look. I'll just show you, you've got that Oreo base there, the cake, and the Ferrero Rochers are sort of poked out. They're almost like nipples sticking out. So uh, yeah, that's the nipple of the cake. But we can't end there, we move on. Phoebe has got a banana there, haven't you, mate? Mm. And what are you doing to it? Cutting it up. Cutting it up. She's gonna cut it up into little chunks. I love banana. So we're gonna put that 
I'll make you your pleasure. I've also got a Snickers bar, which I've thinly sliced. Just there, I'm just gonna put a piece of those on the end. Some more crushed Oreos. This is a tin of caramel, but you can actually make your own. You know, it's easy to do that, but you know, just buy it in a tin if you can get it. Don't endorse this product, but you know what I'm saying? And also some marshmallow fluff. I was mulling over using that, or actual marshmallows and toasting it. But I'm gonna go for marshmallow fluff today. I found it in the supermarket, and I got excited. Okay then folks, let's speed this up. I'm gonna show you the remaining steps of my guilty pleasure, okay? Here we go. So the first one is the cakes that we've made with the Ferrero Rocher and the Oreo base, which on its own would be amazing. Add the caramel on top, dum, straight from the tin. Chunks of banana on there, and then cloak it in marshmallow fluff. In fact, cloaking, that does look a lot like a ghost looking like that. And that's the effect I want. I want it to droop like snow on a house or Christmas pudding kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? In the pictures with the holly on the top, no. But that's what it looks like, right? And then I sprinkle on some more crushed Oreos and a Snickers on the top, and that is it all done. I'm gonna finish off making some more, and I'm gonna eat one, and maybe see if Phoebe wants a bit as well. Yeah. Right here, my friends, it's time for Phoebe to have some of the guilty pleasure, and she's actually already got stuck into it. We cut it in half right down there. You've got the Ferrero Rocher in there, you've got the caramel, the banana, the marshmallow fluff, the Oreo bits, the Oreo base, the chocolate orange cake, and you are nibbling all of that up. Do you like it? How much do you like it? Give me a word that I, describes how I much. I like the fluff. You like the fluff? So if I just gave her a bowl of fluff, that would have been fine. Can you give me a word that describes how it tastes? Her silence is golden. Not even a word, just a mouth opening like that. Does that mean like a fish? Any reference to a fish there? Yeah. Yeah. So it tastes like fish. So there we go. That is my guilty pleasure. I can't wait to have it. I love that droopiness of the fluff just dripping over there. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna eat all those, all of them. Phoebe's not gonna have any more of that. I'm gonna eat them all. So if you've got a guilty pleasure, why not let me know what it is and I'll try and make it or send me a video of you doing it. And uh, if we can make it, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself. Let us know how you get on. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. 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 She's going for a wee. See you next time. <laughs>